But now this is what Adnai says. He who created you, Yaakov. He who formed you, Israel. Don't be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I am calling you by your name, you are mine. When you pass through water, I will be with you. When you pass through rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you will not be scorched. The flame will not burn you. For I am Adonai your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I have given Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Sva for you, because I regard you as valued and honored, and because I love you. For you I will give people, nations, in exchange for your life. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your descendants from the east, and I will gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, don't hold them back. Bring, bring my sons from far away, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who bears my name, whom I created for my glory, I formed him, yes, I made him. Bring for the people who are blind but have eyes, also the deaf who have ears. All the nations are gathered together and the peoples are assembled. Who among, the, who among them can proclaim this and reveal what happened in the past? Let them bring their witnesses to justify themselves so that others on hearing can say, that's true. You are my witnesses, says Adonai, and my servant whom I have chosen, and that you can know and trust me and understand that I am he. No God was produced before me, nor will any be after me. I, yes I, am Adonai. Besides me, there is no deliverer. I have declared, saved, and proclaimed, not some alien God among you. Therefore you are my witnesses, says Adonai, I am God. Since days began, I have been he. No one can deliver me from my hand. When I act, who can reverse it? Here is what Adonai, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, says. For your sakes I have sent an army to Babel, and knocked down the fleeing Kestim, all of them. Their songs of triumph are now lamentations. I am Adonai, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Here is what Adonai says. Who made a way in the sea, a path through the raging waves, who led out chariots and horse, the army in its strength, they lie down, never to rise again, snuffed out and quenched like a wick. Stop, stop dwelling on the past events and brooding over times gone by. I am doing something new. It's springing up. Can't you see it? Am I making a road in the desert, rivers, and the wasteland? The wild animals will honor me. The jackals and ostriches just ostriches because I will put water in the desert, rivers in the wastelands, for my chosen people to drink, the people I formed for myself, so that they would proclaim my praise. But you haven't called on me, Yaakov, because you have grown weary of me, Israel. You have not brought me sheep for, my, for your burnt offerings. You have not honored me with your sacrifices. I didn't burden you by requiring grain offerings or weary you by by demanding frankincense. You have not spent money to buy me sweet cane or filled me with the fat of your sacrifices. Instead, you have burdened me with your sins and wearied me with your crimes. I, yes I, am the one who blots out your offenses for my own sake. I will not remember your sins. Remind me when we're in court together. Tell your side, make the case that you are right. Your first father sinned, and your spokesmen rebelled against me. Therefore I repudiated the officials of the sanctuary, delivered Yaakov to the curse of destruction, and, subje and subjected Israel to scorn. Now listen, Yaakov my servant, Israel whom I have chosen. Thus says Adnai who made you, formed you in the womb, and will help you. Don't be afraid, Yaakov my servant. Yeshurin? whom I have chosen, for I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendants, my blessings on your offspring. They will spring up among the grass like willows on the river banks. One will say, I belong to Adnai. Another will be called by the name of Yaakov. Yet another will write, 
that he belongs to Adnai and adopt the surname Israel. Thus says Adnai, Israel's king and redeemer, Adonai Svaot, I am the first, I am the last. Besides me there is no God. Who is like me? Let him speak out. Let him show me clearly what has been happening since I set up the eternal people. Let him foretell future signs and events. Don't be frightened. Don't be afraid. Don't I tell you this? Didn't I tell you this long ago? I foretold it, and you are my witness. Is there any God besides me? There is no other rock. I know of none. All idol makers account to nothing. Their precious productions profit no one, and their witnesses to their own shame neither see nor understand. Who would fashion a god or cast an image that profits no one anything? All involved will be ashamed, but more than anyone else, the people who made them. Let them all be a symbol, let them stand up. Let them fear and be ashamed, be shamed together. A blacksmith makes a tool over burn, burning coals. With his strong arm, he shapes it with hammers. But when he gets hungry, his strength fails. If he doesn't drink water, he grows tired. A carpenter takes his measurements, sketches a shape with its stylus, planes the wood, checks it with calipers, and carves it into the shape of a man. And since it is honored like a man, of course, it is to live in a house. He goes up to chop down cedars. He takes an evergreen and an oak. He especially tends one tree in the forest, plants a pine for the rain to nourish in time. When it's ready to use for fuel, he takes some of it to keep himself warm and burns some more to bake bread. Then he makes a god and worships it, carves it into an idol and falls down before it. So half of it is burned in the fire. With that half he roasts meat and eats his fill. He warms himself and says, it feels good getting warm while watching the flames, while the rest of the log he fashions a god, a carved image, then falls down before it. He worships it and prays to it. Save me, he says, for you are my god. Such people know nothing, understand nothing. Their eyes are sealed shut so that they can't see, their hearts too, so they can't understand. No one thinks to himself or has the knowledge or the discernment to say, I burned half of it in the fire baked bread on its coals, roasted meat, and ate it. Should I now make the rest an abomination? Should I prostrate myself to a tree trunk? He is relying on ashes. A deceived heart has led him astray. So that now he won't save himself, just won't say, this saying is my hand is a fraud. Keep these matters in mind, Yaakov, for you, Israel, are my servant. I formed you. You are my own servant, Israel. Don't forget me. Like a thick cloud, uh, I wipe away your offenses. Like a cloud, your sins come back to me, for I have redeemed you. Seeing you, heavens, for Adonai has done it. Shout, you depths of the earth. Mountains break out into song, along with every tree in the forest, for Adonai has redeemed Yaakov. He glorifies himself in Israel. Here is what Adonai says, your redeemer. He who formed you in the womb, I am Adonai, who makes all things, who stretched out the heavens all alone, who spread out the earth all by myself. I frustrate false prophets and their omens. I make fools of diviners. I drive back the sages and make their wisdom look silly. I confirm my servants' prof prophecies and make my messengers' plan succeed. I say of Jerusalem, she will, she will be lived in. Of the cities of Yehuda, they will be rebuilt. I will restore their ruins. I say to the deep sea, dry up. I will make your streams run dry. I say of Koresh, he is my shepherd. He will do everything I want. He will say of Jerusalem, you will be rebuilt. Of the temple, your foundation will be laid. Thus says Adonai to Koresh, his anointed, whose right hand he has grasped, so that he subdued nations before him and stripped kings of their robes so that doors open in front of him and no gates are barred. I will go ahead of you, leveling the hills, shattering the bronze gates, smashing the iron bars. I will give you treasures hoarded in the dark, secret riches hidden away, so that you will know that I, Adnai, calling you by your name and the God, and the God of Israel, 
It is for the sake of Yaakov, my servant, yes, for Israel, my elect, that I call you by name and give you a title. Although you did not know me, I, Adonai, there is no other besides me, there is no God. I am arming you, although you don't know me, so that those from the east and those from the west will know that there is none besides me. I am Adonai, there is no other. I form light, I create darkness, I make well-being, I create woe. I, Adonai, do all these things. Heavens above, rain down justice, like the clouds pour it down. Let the earth open, so that salvation springs up, and justice sprouts with it. I, Adonai, have created it. Woe to anyone who argues with his maker. Like potsherds lying on the ground, does the clay ask the potter, What are you doing? Or, What is this you are making? That has no hands. Woe to him who asks his father, Of what are you the father? Or ask a woman, To what are you giving birth? Thus says Adonai, the Holy One of Israel, his maker. You ask for signs concerning my children. You give orders concerning the work of my hands. I am the one who made the earth. I created human beings on it. I, my hands, stretched out the heavens and directed all their number. I am stirring up Korish to righteousness. I am smoothing out all its paths. He will rebuild my city. He will free my exiles, taking neither ransom nor bribes, says Adonai Svaot. Here is what Adonai says. The earnings of Egypt, the commerce of Ethiopia, and men of stature from Sva will come out to you and become yours. They will come on chains following you. They will prostrate themselves before you. They will pray to you. Surely God is with you. There is no other God. Other gods are nothing. Truly, you are a God who hides himself. God of Israel, Savior. The idol makers will be ashamed, disgraced, all of them. They will, they will go dishonored together. But Israel, saved by Adonai with an everlasting salvation, you will never, ever be ashamed or disgraced. For thus says Adonai, who created the heavens, God who shaped them and made the earth, who established and created it not to be chaos, but formed it to be lived in. I am Adonai, there is no other. I did not speak in secret. In a land of darkness, I did not say to the descendants of Yaakov, it is in vain that you will seek me. I, Adonai, speak rightly. I say what is true, a symbol, come and gather together. You refugees from the nations, those carrying their wooden idols are ignorant. They pray to the God that cannot save. Let them stand and present their case. Indeed, let them take counsel together. Who foretold this so foretold this long ago, announced it at times gone by? Wasn't it I, Adnai? There is no other God besides me, a just God and a savior. There is none besides me. Look to me and be saved all the ends of the earth, for I am God. There is no other. In the name of myself I have sworn, from my mouth has rightly gone out, a word that will not return. To me every knee will bow, and every tongue will swear about me that I, that only in Adonai are justice and strength. All who rage against him will come to him ashamed, but all the descendants of Israel find justice and glory in Adonai.